This video might be all over the place, but um, welcome to the Seriously Sick. Invincible. <laughs> So, this week is Conspiracy Week, as you've probably noticed, and, well, I was thinking about what conspiracies I could talk about, and then I, I just kind of realized that a lot of them are really negative, and nothing wrong with that. I love watching it, and, uh, you know, Shane Dawson's videos, um, but, I don't know, I feel like I'm not a great person to talk about sad or negative or, you know, depressing, like, topics, so... I'm going to talk about something that is very, very near and dear to my heart. High School Musical. Now I know what you might be thinking, a conspiracy theory or just a theory in general surrounding High School Musical. What? And well, yeah, it's kind of a weird concept, but it is something that I actually find hilarious and after thinking about it after a while, and I'm not the only one who thinks this or noticed it. Um, I get um, quite passionate about it, actually, and uh, these two guys back here are going to come in handy, so let's get into it, shall we? So I think, as you all know, in the second movie, High School Musical 2, um, which is based in the summer, 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 and everyone was jamming out to it and the fact that Miley Cyrus is at the end of it and freaked out about it, um, there's a particular dance or song in it that has sparked a lot of um, attention in, you know, the Tumblr and internet community, basically. Um, the song I'm talking about is I Don't Dance. The conspiracy or theory is that Chad and Ryan had, um, relations, um, that sounds so weird to say, but it's basically the theory that in this particular dance, um, I don't dance, is basically a metaphor for gay sex and straight sex and Ryan trying to say, hey Chad, swing my way. I'll explain. So basically, the main reason everyone thinks this is that it's baseball. And in the Urban Dictionary and in you know, the flag community, people use the term pitcher and catcher a lot. So if you're a pitcher, you tend to be the person who is giving it, um, so you're at the top, and then if you're the catcher, you are receiving, meaning you are at the bottom. And the whole time it goes back and forth between, obviously, because it's baseball. So hey there, um, this is awkward, I know. Um, but I was editing, and I realized I didn't really explain anything very well. So here you go, you got a little insight explanation. So basically, when I was saying how there's the pitcher and then there's the catcher, it starts off with Ryan being the pitcher, you know, saying, Chad, hey, come on, let's, let's do this. And he says it multiple times, at least once. It says, I'll show you that it's one and the same baseball dancing same game and by that it's almost saying how baseball is like straight sex and how dancing is basically gay <laughs> sex um so he's basically saying yes it's different but it's the same thing um <laughs> so that's the first little insight thing i wanted to mention so roll the clip yeah, that is one and the same Baseball, dancing, same game It's easy Step up to the plate Stop swinging So, after that little thing happened And he's kind of like, um Start swinging, meaning swing my way Which is, he's, he's gay If you don't know, Ryan's gay If you didn't know, you're kind of I would, it's kind of obvious Just saying Um, but anyway I have a nose itch. Oh my lord, Jesus. Anyway, so after that, Chad's kind of like, I only play baseball. I don't dance. There's nothing you can show me. 
that would change my mind. I'm straight. And obviously they have a little confrontation. They go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and kind of be like, hey, um, that, that, that's, that's not what I do. So I'm going to show a couple more clips showing that, and then we'll go more in depth because I think I'm just going to veto all the other footage I have because this is easier to explain. So my favorite part that really shows, you know, the whole gay thing is when it says, you'll never know if you never try, which, just, just, just watch it. So if you watch the rest of the video slash song or just listen to it and whenever they say dance, if you just, you know, think about what I'm trying to explain and how that's like the difference between gay and straight, You'll start to see and you're like, oh, that fits. What? Excuse me? Um, you'll probably understand it better than I can explain it to you. Because I'm not going to spoon feed you the whole premise, basically. But one final thing I do want to mention um, in the song itself is the dance break is basically what I believe to be them actually doing the deed. Because... Well, first of all, they're dancing together, kind of in unison, if that makes any sense. And at the very end of the thing, they fall on top of each other. And there's actually a scene right after this where they, they're they wearing each other's clothes because they, they switch. Huh. So, yeah. This, 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 this is why I think that this conspiracy or theory is legitimate. I'm sorry this is a vloggy type thing. I just can't explain, apparently, in front of the camera. hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so, so, so sorry if it's all over the place. Again, I get very passionate and then my words don't come out very well. Yes, Seriously Sick social media is down below. My personal social media is down below as well. Also, the Seriously Sick just got a Snapchat last week. It is the Seriously Sick minus the K. And yeah, so if you're watching this on Saturday, you're with me. And I'll be spamming the snappy chat and either giving you mediocre entertainment, half-assed, like, cleverness, or I'm just talking to y'all and doing my stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your Saturdays, and I will hope you all have a seriously sick day. Bye. There's no denying that they fucked, just saying.